So welcome back year two. It's geography time and we're continuing with our sensational safari topic. And this week we're going to be finding out a bit more about the wildlife. So the national parks and the wonderful wildlife is our title today. You're going to understand what a national park is and you're going to be drawing a map of a national park or reserve. So you're going to be then using compass directions to describe a route. You're going to be explaining how a national park is different to a game reserve and also thinking about why people would choose Kenya for a holiday. So your key words today, they're all words that you are all familiar with, I think. There's not many you wouldn't understand. National park, game reserve, wildlife, endangered species, habitat, safari, tourism, tourists, holiday, protect, map and key. But first of all, what can you remember so far about the country of Kenya and whereabouts it is on a map? Any of the landmarks, any of the famous parts of the country? Think about last week where you had to draw a map from memory or label some of the rivers or the uh, big cities. How did you get on? Perhaps you remembered that um, it's on the Indian Ocean. It's bordered by Somalia, Ethiopia, Sudan, Uganda and Tanzania. Perhaps you remembered that the capital city is Nairobi and that it has the large Lake Turkana and the even larger Lake Victoria. And of course, what's the famous mountain? Can you remember that? That the country is named after? Mount Kenya. Okay, well done. So there's quite a few slides today, but obviously you can uh, go through at your own piece. Lots of them are just pictures for you to have a look at. So national parks and game reserves. You may have heard these words before. Kenya has over 50 national parks and game reserves across the country. And within these parks and reserves are many different types of wildlife and habitats such as wetlands, grasslands, forests, savannah, and marine. Remember, it's a very big country, so it has lots of different parts to it. A national park is a protected area of land where only tourism and research is allowed by humans. So no humans are allowed to live in the national parks. The Tsavo West and Tsavo East national parks are the largest in Kenya. Now a game reserve is still a protected area of land but it allows humans to live there and to carry out other activities such as fishing, road building, mining and gathering wood. And the most popular reserve in Kenya is the Masai Mara Reserve, which you may have heard of, and it can be found in the southwest of the country. It's named in honour of the Masai tribes, people who live in the area. The Masai Mara National Reserve is famous world over for the large amount of wildlife, including all members of the Big Five, which live there. The name Mara means spotted, and this is what the land looks like from a distance with the trees, clouds and grass, if you have a look in that second picture. And there's a map just to show you where the national parks and games reserves are within the country. You can see the Masai Mara over to the southwest near Lake Victoria. And of course, and can you see how it actually lies across two countries. So the border of Tanzania and Kenya runs through the Masai Mara Game Reserve. So there's some lovely pictures for you to look at now. These are some Masai tribes people. They wear really beautiful, colorful dress, jewelry. Those amazing hats and earrings, necklaces. Some cattle, they're farmers. And here you've got some tourists, so people that are traveling just for pleasure and for enjoyment's sake. Lots of people like to go and visit the wildlife in Africa. Giraffe. See how many of these you can 
name. Sensational safari. So where do people go on holiday? Well, people go on all sorts of places for holidays, don't they? They might go down to the seaside, might stay in a caravan. They might get on an aeroplane and fly further afield. They might camp, they might stay in hotels with swimming pools. Some people like to go on more of an adventure. So think about where you might have been on holiday. And we've just talked about how tourists are people that are traveling and going to a place, visiting a place for leisure and pleasure. So I did promise you that uh, I would add in a few photos of me from a long time ago when I was 19 and when I visited Africa for about nine weeks and we did, we, we crossed East Africa in a big, big old truck and we went on safari. So this is my album. I stuck all my photos in. We saw some incredible wildlife. We saw giraffe. And flamingos, gazelles, zebras, lions. And this top picture, our big truck had got stuck in the mud because we got caught in a rainstorm and we had to dig out the wheels. And the bottom picture, in that beautiful outfit I'm wearing, that was um, taken uh, on Mount Kilimanjaro. And we climbed up Mount Kilimanjaro over five days. And on Christmas Day, we came back down. So I celebrated Christmas Day at the bottom of Mount Kilimanjaro. And here we were doing more of a water safari. So we saw hippopotamus. And we've got this funny elephant at the top who just refused to turn around to have his picture taken. This guy at the top was a guy who was on our trip with us and he used to really enjoy drinking Coke out of a can. And then we came across this mud hut that had been made out of Coke cans. And this was Gary, a very friendly warthog that I got to know as well. So millions of tourists visit the Maasai Reserve each year to see the endless savannah and to go on safari to look at the amazing wildlife. And if you click on this little uh, arrow here, it will take you to a short video about holidays in Kenya. So I'd like you to have a look at that, watch that, and come back afterwards. So what type of holidays do people go on in the video clip? There was different types, wasn't there? Some people were like walking in the hills. Um, Some tree people. Um, some people were on safari. So have a look at this, because you're going to be designing your own national park. If we have a look at this map, what is located at the north of the reserve? So think about north pointing upwards, never eat shredded wheat north, east, south, west. And in what direction would you need to travel to reach Rhino Ridge? Can you see Rhino Ridge? Have a look on the key if you get stuck. What symbol shows a river? Again, have a look on the key again. Oops, sorry. What symbol shows a swamp? And can you spot a gate? You have these reserve gates, which I guess are kept locked and only particular people can unlock them to take tourists in and out. So have a look, look, look at that map. And then you are going to imagine, uh, you're, imagine you're going to create your own, <laughs> your own national park or game reserve in Kenya. Decide which you will design a map for and follow your checklist. So I'll, I'll upload a checklist for you to work against. 
to make sure you've included all the key features that you need for a park or reserve. Okay, so you can use the one on this page to model it on, but try and create your own with all the key features. Thinking about sensible places to put those key features. And a challenge, can you draw a route on your map to show where a safari around the park or reserve could take place? And finally, can you remember the difference between a national park and a game reserve? Okay, good luck everybody. Uh, try not to laugh too much at my outfits and uh, I'll see you again next week. <laughs>